all right guys welcome back to the channel thanks for joining me this is going to be my first attempt at a how-to video so i'm going to show you how to weather this cno box car using the materials you see in front of you so four oil paint colors we got a white burnt sienna burnt umber and a yellow ochre and two pastels artist chalks just from uh, michael's graded up in these small containers as well as alcohol and some old brushes so stay tuned we're going to jump right into this right now okay so step one guys you want to get your work area set up and ready to go so i'm going to go ahead and take the wheel sets off of this box car i'm going to give it a coat of dull coat that's a tester's product that's going to help protect the original factory paint as well as the decals you also want to have your brushes available as well as take some of your oil paint and lay it out onto a palette ready to apply to the model. So I'm going to go ahead and get those first steps done and I'll be right back. Once your dull coat is dry, what we're going to go ahead and do is start to apply some of the oil paint onto the model. Now I like to start with all four colors at once. Some some guys are going to do this differently than, uh, than myself, but I'm going to show you my effect. So I will go on and apply the white, the uh, yellow ochre, burnt sienna, burnt umber, and I'll keep the lighter colors to the top and bring the darker colors down to the bottom. This is gonna help me to achieve an initial fade of the model. And then we're gonna go back and do detail uh, using the white for the bleed from the logo, as well as using some of the browns, as well as some of the powders for spot rust. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Stay with me here. As you can see, I'm just quickly splotching the oil paint onto the car in a random pattern, mixing the colors, keeping my darker colors to the bottom and my light colors to the top. The nice part about this is because we've sealed the model with the tester's doll coat, if you don't like it, you simply wash it off with the alcohol. So I've gone ahead and done this side. I'm going to work one side at a time for the purpose of the tutorial. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you how we're going to get that fade as well as the streak effect using another brush ready to start streaking so again we're going to use a flat brush it can be an older brush it's not a problem uh, something a little wider don't worry about the bristles too much you're going to want to dip it into uh, make sure you're using some high quality alcohol or actual paint thinner um, mineral spirits something of that nature so we're going to go through and we're just going to start pulling that paint down and that's gonna help give us our streaking. And you can see just how quickly that paint fades away. So it's a very easy process to correct if you're not happy with it. So you're just gonna keep dragging, dragging, pulling it down. Work those colors into each other. It's gonna really help with the fade. Don't be shy. Very easy to clean this up if you're not happy with it. That's gonna help give us a really nice effect so I'm gonna go over to the other side and then I'm gonna show it to you when it's when it's dried I'm going to go very light on the weathering on this. So I'm going to go ahead and do the door, throw some more colors on. And we'll let that dry and we'll come back and have a look and see how it's looking. For the roof, you're going to want to go ahead and do the same process. Now we're going to do some streaking rust effects using powders. So we're not going to worry too, too much about the brown. I just want to get a balanced fade on the top, similar, similar to what we've got going on on the side. So the process is very much the same. Splotch your, your oil paint and then just begin to feather it out. You're going to feather it out across the roof panels, being sure to go in along the side afterwards and just clean up and make sure you don't have any, any paint running down the fronts or the sides. See if I can get this to focus. So just continually cleaning out that brush using the alcohol or the 
thinner and then just proceed to drag to help to achieve that fade. So we're going to go ahead and do this over the whole car until we're happy with the fade, but it's the same process around the front and the side and the roof. So I'll be right back. So now once you're happy with the desired effect that you're going for, you're going to want to go ahead and let this dry. Now this can take some time to dry. Um, you know, you can expedite that if you've got a hair dryer handy, uh, low heat, um, low fan, blow some heat on it. It's going to help to dry it. I'm going to let this dry and then we're going to come back and we're going to continue to detail weather this. Uh, but as of right now, if, if I was just going for just a simple fade, I would be very happy with this. I would let this dry. I would maybe hit it with some of the, some of the powders in a dry brush fashion, but that would be it for this. So I'm going to wrap this video up here as just a basic fade and then we'll uh i'll make another video for doing uh you know the pin washes the texture application using the chalk and other uh other weathering pigments uh, i hope you guys have found this useful this is my first attempt uh hopefully it was it was good uh, it's a very simple process very easy to use uh, and it gives you some great quick effects so very nice for a large fleet and it's something that you can do as much or as little as you want. You know, you can really go overboard and make it look beat up, or you can really subtle it and and just give those cars that used appearance. So thanks for stopping by, guys. I hope you've enjoyed.